Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you a brief guide on how to use the CF sprayer from IC2. So first if we have a look at how to make it. So for the CF sprayer itself you're going to need one universal fluid cell plus three iron item casings. For the CF powder which you're going to need to make to use this is the following recipe above which is two sand, one clay and six stone dust. Should be pretty easy to come by. So now if we just grab the CF sprayer out now, what you're going to want to do is play, get your canning machine and bottler and fill your canning machine up with water. So if we do that now, there we go, it's pumping away and you're going to want to set it in this mode. And there you go, it's off making it like nobody's business. Full yeah, so we've got construction foam. So when this guy's full, we'll continue. Right, okay. Now we're filled up and we're ready to go. So, now we've got this cool construction foam liquid, but you're wondering how we actually fill it up. Well, we're actually going to use the bottle to do that. So, what we're going to want to do is pipe it into the bottler using whatever means you'd like. In this terms, I'm going to use Ender.io. So if we make that always active, there we go. It's snazzing away and filling up. Excellent. So now what you're going to do is chuck this guy in here and that will fill up. This will use quite a lot of construction foam. So out of that, we only got, you know, 300k. It can take eight buckets worth. So it does take quite a bit. So we can try again. Fill it up a little bit more. There we go. So now we've got some construction foam. Let's see what cool things you can do. What you're gonna to wanna to get yourself as well is some scaffolding next. So the cool thing with scaffolding is if we place a three, three by two, and then we just shoot some CF sprayer at it. Booyah, we get our scaffolding back and that's how you can make wicked walls and make your cool base and for iron if we do the same again but here one two three then we shoot some more of it booyah now the difference between these two this will turn into normal construction foam wall as you see there this will turn into reinforced you if you use iron and it does take quite a while for each bit to dry and if you do too much of it around yourself, you can suffocate in it. So if we have a look, another look at another cool thing, cool thing with glass fiber cable and copper cable, if we shoot some in, voila, shoot some in there. But the cool thing is your cable will not be destroyed. So if we break it, there we go, construction foam will, but the cable still stays intact. So that works on all industrial craft cables so another cool thing we can do is if we break all this sand a second just break all this sand oh i fell down you can get your cf sprayer out again if we just go boom how about that this is a wicked way of making paths and this will turn into that over there and i guess you saw, saw me do it there as well but it's a cool way to make paths don't you think See, you can walk in it, the foam that is. and you can suffocate in it. And now let's get the fun stuff, shall we? There's some fun stuff in here. So if we grab this TNT, some lasers, etc. So now we've got the fun stuff. Before I show you that, if you grab a paintbrush, you can paint this guy. You know, red. So once these are all hardened, you can paint whatever color you like. And for the paintbrush, it is the following recipe you just see here. Three wool and two iron. Then you chuck a dye next to whatever colour you'd like. Now the fun begins. The cool thing is, is if you place the iron scaffolding down and let it harden to reinforced. And watch this. Chuck some TNT. And maybe a little bit of industrial craft TNT as well. So now, we place a lever, 
and we'll set these guys off. Watch this. Oh yeah. It killed the rest of everything else, but yes, it is blast proof and it can even be good for nuclear explosions, which can be good for when you're building your nuclear reactor. But <laughs> it kind of destroyed the rest of my, yeah. And one other good thing about this reinforced stone is it even protects from lasers. Oh yeah. You cannot break the block. So it's literally like trying to shoot a bedrock. Or really hard blocks. It just will not break it. And just go over here. Boom. There we go. It can break them though. So, I think it's a fantastic material to build with. I reckon that's pretty cool. As you can see, there it's hardening there. So, one of the things you can get, you can get reinforced scaffolding, so it will turn straight away into reinforced, probably even stronger, if you use a reinforced um, wooden or iron. And just a couple of notes for the CF sprayer. The CF hardens at 0.6%, so that's 25 seconds per block. And the CF walls will resist nuclear explosions. As well as it has a resistance of 60. So I hope this has helped you. And just one final note, you can use a CF backpack bit like a lap pack so you can keep going and spraying so until next time sit tight